Hi there, it's Grant with Grantly Clothing, and today I'd like to talk about how you can find the best pair of summer shorts for you. Uh, why are we talking about shorts? Well, it's hot outside, and why are you wearing pants? It's summer, it's hot. Enjoy it when you can. Wear those shorts. Let's make sure that they're right for you, that they look good, that they look the way you want to look. That's what we're here to talk about today. So um, who am I? I'm Grant with Grantly Clothing and I'm not the tallest of people. On the best day, I'm five foot six. And so for me, finding clothing that works for me, my body shape, my height, has always been a bit of a challenge. Um, and when we're talking about shorts, uh, generally they're way too long and I end up looking like a little kid or I stole my big brother's clothes and it's just, it's not a good combo. So uh, what I'd like to do today is talk about how you find the best pair of shorts for you. Maybe you're not short, maybe you're tall, maybe you're larger, maybe you're skinny, whatever the case is, we all have things that we have to deal with. So let's kind of get into those and some strategies for how you can figure out what the best pair of shorts that accomplishes the look that you're trying to go after for you. So uh, to start with, how do we figure out what the best look for us is? Well, there's an easy way to do that, really. Um, I like to use something called Pinterest. It's an app. You go on there, you create a little account, and you can start creating boards. Uh, let me show you what it looks like for me. So um, I've created a, a, a quick board demo. This is called Summer Shorts. And in there, what I do is I just type in men's shorts. And I just start searching through some of the images, things that I like, looks that I like, shorts that I like. I just start collecting them. After a little while, I have a whole assortment of different shorts, different looks, different vibes that kind of resonate with me for one reason or another. A lot of those you can directly click on and go right to the product. Cool. That makes it easy to shop. Uh, otherwise, it, I, I feel that this kind of helps attune your mind. Uh, it helps you kind of pay attention when you're out in the world or you're doing your Google searches for your, with, with your online shopping, how and what you're looking for. You know, if you just type in men's shorts, you're going to get who knows what, and most likely whoever's paid the most for that keyword, uh, that'll rank first and you'll never see what you actually want. Well, because you don't know what you actually want. But let's say you, you, you've learned that you really like cotton shorts, you like them a particular color, you like a particular wash, you like draw drawstrings instead of buttons. Well, the more stuff you can put in your search, in the search field, the more specific and more um, the better results you're going to get, basically. So same with in person, right? If you have a picture in your mind of what you're shopping for, you're not just wandering around like a maniac from store to store, like, ah, I don't know, are these going to work? Are these not going to work? Whatever. You know what you're after. And when you see it, boom, you can move on it. Okay. So let's say uh, you've done that. You've got a whole group of things and you've narrowed some stuff down. You've even found some gems that you think are going to work for you. What's next? Well, Next, you need to evaluate how those things actually look on you. And the best way that I've found to do that is to get yourself a camera, uh, get yourself a smartphone, what, whatever you got. Uh, put it on a tripod. Don't take a selfie. It's just like looking in a mirror. It gives you such a weird perspective. It's way too close things. You don't get that 3D from a distance sort of a, a look that you get either looking at somebody or looking at yourself on film. So what I suggest, Get a camera, put it on a tripod, have someone help you. Take pictures of yourself. S front, back, side. <laughs> Sorry, oh, some days are better than others, but you get it, right? Take those images, look at them on your phone, look at them on the computer and really evaluate. Does this piece actually work for me? Is it too long? Is it too short? Is it too tight, too loose? Do I look silly in it? A lot of times, you know, I, I think I'll see something on someone online, I'll eventually track it down, try it on, and I'm like, well, in the mirror it looks cool, but then when I try my photo test, I'm like, oh man, that's way too big or way too baggy for me. Just doesn't work. So for me, that's been a really helpful step to actually evaluate, does this look fit my ideal image that I'm trying to build in my head? That's what this is really all about, right? It's about finding clothes, that fit and accomplish whatever your ideal image is. We're not talking about looking like every Joe Schmo out there with throwing on whatever works or doesn't work or whatever we have in our closet. This is about being more intentional with your clothes and, and how you look. Why not look your best? And that's what we're really talking about today. Okay. Okay. Let's jump back into shorts, specifically talking about what 
makes a great pair of shorts? What makes them work for you? And first, I'd like to talk about the different measurements of a pair of shorts. The more we understand about something, the more fine-tuned we can get into, what about this particular piece works? What about this particular thing works for me? Again, this is all about dressing intentionally. So uh, there's three main points of measurement we're gonna talk about. The total length of the shorts, the inseam of the short, and the leg opening of the shorts. There's one more important piece, but it's a little, gets a little complicated to talk about, and that's the rise. And to be honest, we can infer what the rise is by subtracting from the total length, the inseam, the leftover bit is the rise. So uh, let's jump into looking at a couple of different pair of shorts and how those measurements, um, little bits here and there end up affecting the way they look as a whole. So let's go. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. We're here in the lab and we're gonna talk about clothes, specifically shorts and what makes a pair of shorts fit you, not fit you, what are the measurements that actually matter? We're gonna keep it simple today and we're gonna talk about three. The first is the total length and the total length is from your waistband down to the bottom. So that basically affects how long the shorts actually are on you. The next is the inseam. That's from the point of the crotch down to the bottom. So that's the other piece. The last piece that we're concerned about is the leg opening, basically from side to side. That gives you how slim it is. Shorts don't have the complications of, you know, from the knee below. So it makes this kind of a more simple conversation. The other part that I mentioned earlier, the rise, is basically from that point of the crotch up to the top. So the rise plus the inseam equals the total length. The rise is a little more complicated because it's not such a straight line. I don't know if you can see that. It has a curve to it. So we're gonna leave that alone and we can infer it. Uh, that leads to things like how tight it fits in your bum and in your crotch area, that sort of a thing. Does it move with me? Does it make it hard to sit down? Does it show my stuff too much? That sort of thing. <clears throat> okay, so let's get into it. As you can see, I have two seemingly very similar pair of shorts. In fact, they're very similar, except for a couple of things, and we're gonna get over that now. So let's start with the length. How you determine the length, you get yourself a simple tape measure, still one from your significant other if you have to, whatever, go buy one, they're super cheap. They're like 99 cents. So top of the waistband, this doesn't have to be super specific. You're not sewing these yourself. This again is just to add to your knowledge, once you determine, hey, I really like these shorts I'm wearing, what about them do I like? You can map that over into the other shorts that you buy. And in fact, you can do the same thing with all of your clothes, but we'll stick to shorts today. So, okay, we're talking length. We go from the top down to the bottom. These particular guys, uh, 18 and a quarter is what I'm measuring. So 18 and a quarter inches. Okay, next let's figure out the inseam. We're gonna keep this super simple. Just fold them open. And we're gonna go from basically the line there down to the bottom. Again, we're not being crazy specific. These are advertised as an eight inch inseam, uh, but they measure more closely to seven and a half. So. Let's put that up there for easy reference. Okay, the last piece. Uh, again, you don't have to be perfect. Just kind of fold it so it's half and half. We're gonna take it from one far end to the other. I'm getting as close as I can spot and I care 10 inches. So we've got 18 and a quarter long. We've got a seven and a half inch inseam and a 10 and a quarter with here. So let's take a look at this very similar pair of shorts and see if we're even Steven. Quickly, we're at 15. So that's three plus inches shorter than these guys. Okay, next, again, good practice. Fold open the things there and we're just go from the seam to the end. That measures exactly six. So interestingly enough, these are seven and a half. These are six. So, but yet there's a three inch 
plus difference there. So again, we talked about the rise. Well, that tells me these are shorter by approximately an inch and a half here than they are here. Again, what this tells me is this is going to be a much baggier, longer short, which may work for you, may not work for you. Uh, the important thing is learning the different pieces here. Okay, so last bit. We had 10 basically here. Let's double check because my memory. Uh, 10 and a half, we'll call it. 10 and a half. Interesting. So the one common denominator, not denominator, aspect is the leg opening is 10 and a half approximately. So these are a total of three inches shorter than these guys with an inch and a half shorter inseam, same leg opening. So now let's jump into the other room so you can actually see me. I'll try both on. We'll see how those different uh, measurements actually impact fit. Uh, and from there, we'll kind of wrap things up. Cool, let's go. Okay, now let's take a look at a couple of those shorts we were measuring earlier and let's see what those measurements actually mean in real life and what they actually translate to as far as how they, they look and they fit on the body. Okay, so the first pair that I'm going to be wearing is the shorter pair. It's got the total length of approximately 15 inches with a six inch inseam and about a 10 and a half, 10 and a quarter inch leg opening. Um, this is the preferred fit that I like my short set. Again, I'm not the tallest of people. So for me, a slimmer fit through the leg and a shorter short, it makes me feel and look a little bit taller, a little bit leaner. Um, and it really cleans up my overall look. So quick spin, nothing fancy. They're just very basic shorts that happen to match my preferred fit and style for what I'm after. So next let's jump into the other pants that was uh, about three and some change inches longer. And let's see what that does to my overall look. <laughs> There's probably a fancier way to enter, but I don't know what it is. Anyway, um, these are the longer lengths. Uh, very similar measurements, about 10, 10 and a quarter, 10 and a half inch leg opening. Uh, the inseam on these particular guys is eight inches. So there's a two, at least a two inch difference on just the inseam alone between this pair of shorts and the previous pair of shorts. These are any old shorts you can buy. In fact, I bought these at Target. They're I can't remember exactly, let's say 15 to $20. Uh, very basic shorts, drawstring at the waist. Overall length, these are 18 plus inches. So um, there's a three inch total difference. And again, remember total is, constitutes the inseam and then the rise. That's why there's a two inch greater inseam on these, but a total of three plus inches longer. So uh, long story short, let me give a quick spin. So while there's nothing wrong with these shorts, they just don't fit the way I like them to. And in fact, this kind of feel and look for me happens to give kind of that, my clothes are too big for me. These are size medium. There's just nothing wrong with the size. It's just the fit on me doesn't really work. So now I know for the future, I need to look for a shorter inseam, at least as a starting point and then make sure that the rest of it, the leg opening, um, which kind of leads to the slimmer fitting legs, fits and works for me. So um, let's jump back to it and wrap all of this up um, and we'll go from there. Thanks. Okay, we're back. Uh, to wrap this up, what we've talked about today are some tips and strategies and added some knowledge about how to get the best fitting pair of shorts for you. Uh, quickly, let's go over them. Identify what kind of thing that you like. Uh, let's build ourselves, we call it an inspiration board. We can call it whatever we want. I like to use Pinterest, helps attune my mind. It even helps me shop to be perfectly honest because of the direct link sometimes. I find styles that I like that way. A lot of times I don't know. So I just start looking and compiling. From there, I go shopping, I buy stuff, I try them on and then I evaluate. I take pictures of myself and I actually look at those pictures. I pretend that I'm looking at someone else. 
uh, not from like a tearing myself apart sort of a perspective, but really more of like, does this accomplish what I'm trying to accomplish? Okay, so again, we're talking about dressing intentionally. You've got that ideal image in your head, you found some pieces that work, you think with it, Next, you're getting that kind of, we'll call it objective view. How do I actually look in this? Does it work for me? What works? What doesn't work? Can I get things changed? Do I need to look for different things? That sort of stuff. So uh, we're really just refining that look. Okay, so from the strategies, we moved into the different points of measure and how those actually translate to differences in fit and look. Again, we've got the overall length, the inseam, and then the thigh opening or the leg opening, whatever. Um, those three main pieces, again, just kind of help you troubleshoot and further refine what it is you like about something, what it is you don't like about something to just help be more specific and selective when you're shopping. So I hope all of this helps. At the end of the day, figure out what works for you. These are meant to be some tips and tools to help you get there. If you have any questions, I'd love to hear from you. Again, Grant, Grantly Clothing. Uh, thank you very much. It's been a blast. Take care.